are there any mistakes you've you've all seen any other interns do and now that as you've learned how you would have done those differently yeah so one thing that um i have seen is not taking responsibility for their own learning or their own contributions so i like don't wait for a task if you don't have one make one whether you're the leader or not and ask your manager if it's okay to carry this out it shows initiative and it's one of the most probably one of the most impressive things that you can do if your manager isn't giving you work that pertains to your job, make work that pertains to your job. So when I was working at Con Edison, I had to do data entry with Excel and I coded it out what I what I did because I wanted to code, I coded it out and I automized it as much as I could so I could speak about this experience later. And that's one thing I recommend to like think about how you're gonna, like while you're on the job, think about how you're gonna talk about this experience later. I actually didn't ask for permission for this because it would save time in the long run anyway. And I feel like he would have said no because <laughs> he didn't have a tech background and he had no conception of how long it would take. I've seen interns make mistakes that I just knew I can't like, yeah. <laughs> um, but what they were doing that I, it was good to, in a way it was good to see them make those mistakes just so I could watch out for myself. Um, it's bad for them, good for me, but I, I mean, um, so I would notice that over time that they would lose motivation. And even like, you know, when you're interning for a long time, sometimes you don't notice that you're not doing the same thing that you were doing before. So like showing up extra late, I mean, extra early, not late, please don't, um, extra early or um, taking initiative, like Alina said, or just like kind of saying yes, but not like before, like, yes, I'll do it. Just more like, okay. Yeah, like they're not as motivated as they were before. And when I caught that, I was just like, oh no, like they, your supervisors, the people that you work for, they could sense that. They could sense that you have lost motivation over time. And I just try to always be energetic, competent, um, and always take initiatives because I knew I couldn't afford to make that mess really because um, I was just so grateful to be there. And um, I didn't come from, like really a privileged background. Like I didn't have what they had. So I just couldn't compare myself to them in no way. So over time, I just knew that I couldn't afford to make those like silly mistakes that we may not be aware of. So I always try to make sure to be on time. Sometimes I'll come in like five minutes, 10 minutes early, um, take initiative, make projects. Like I, when I ended my recent internship, um, they didn't have much work for me on the last week, but I was just like, you know what, I need to think of something to, to do because I can't just sit here at home doing nothing. So I just came up with like an intern guide, which is something that I've done for Andre before. So I created like an intern guide for their next intern, basically steps what to do on your free time, what, can, what kind of assignments you're expected to do and steps on how to do them, how to do this Excel sheet, how to do um, these onboarding processes, um, what to expect. So um, when I showed it to her, she was so great and so happy. She's like, oh my God, we never had an intern do this. So I was like, thank you, Andre, for that. So um, yeah, just always um, think outside the box and see what you can do to impress them, even though you're learning from, you know, other, you can learn from other people's mistakes. So that's a good tip. <laughs> yeah, I would say a mistake I've seen way too many interns do is making um, or losing connections after your internship is over. Like, hey, you're talking to the manager every day um, during your internship, but then after it's over, it's like, goodbye and never see you again. So I would say, you know, you don't have to be like talking to them every single day, but definitely keep that connection because you never know when something, you know, if they would be able to help you or you're able to help them. So keeping that connection alive. Um, so with that said, some strategies I've implemented into my personal life as well is just, you know, adding them on LinkedIn because you know although you may not be emailing them every like other week you can see if they have an update comment on it and be like oh my goodness we have to catch up or you can schedule like I don't know like every three months schedule like a quick call or a coffee chat to see what they're up to as well so making sure that you stay connected with them although that you know they're not your direct manager anymore and then that way um you know you have you maintain that relationship and it's not lost just because you finish 
Um, another thing I would say is, you know, being able to add yourself as a resource. So how can you help them? So just because I feel like so oftentimes, you know, as an intern, you're so reliant on them, like, hey, can you help me with this? Or hey, can you look over my project? But after the internship, I always like to, you know, turn it around and say, hey, is there anything I can do that would either make your job easier, or if there's any insight I can help you with. So being able to be, um, you know, to give back in a sense. So uh, yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, those are all great ways, I think, to just be mindful of, especially if we see another intern do it kind of a little bit like Diana, you said, good for bad for them, but maybe good for us in a sense, because we can learn from that. Um, learning from other people's mistakes as well. And I think for me, one thing I've learned was assuming a task rather than asking clarifying questions. I think we often have that fear. I've definitely, speaking for myself, have had that, the nerves of, I don't wanna ask too many questions or is this a dumb question? But I think it's better to always ask and make sure than create a project that might've been completely left field of what the person or your manager was trying to have you do. So I think asking questions is definitely a great way to just make sure you're on task, make sure you're going to do your project correctly. Make sure to check out the My Career tab on the BC Navigator app, where you can track your career progress based on the amount of credits you've earned, stay updated on upcoming events from the Magner Center, and watch our videos for insight and advice on your career field.